Hey man, you ever look in the flatter? Watch the science. Okay. Yeah, you gotta gotta trust them, man. Gotta trust them. We'll get onto that later. Uh, this is gonna be uh, four time lapse videos that I uh, took last night on January twentieth, two thousand twenty-two, and each time I get a little bit closer. Um, and you know. Uh, and with the uh, with this being that far away, oh my God, you know I mean, you got formulas that they do, and you know if you if you trust these formulas, right? They create the formulas for you to use to make sh to determine their righteousness and their truthfulness on uh, knowing the distance to all these stars, planets, uh, galaxies, and all this. Cr crazy crap right trust their mathematics now I remember one time um, I think I was in eighth ninth grade um, my teacher accused me of cheating on my math test and when I because I wasn't writing out the answer I was doing most of it in my head um, I would do a little chicken scratch and then give the answer and he thought I was cheating, so he went up and put some answer, questions on the board, and I went up there and figured them out, using very little bit of, you know, actually drawing out the equation and how I figured it out. Uh, <clears throat> after I did those, he told me to sit back in my seat, and he wanted to talk to me after class. So, uh, you know, I, I wound up being really like his, the teacher's pet in his class. Um, <laughs> we even, um, we even messed around as far as throwing paper wads at each other when we weren't, of course, when other students were around, I wouldn't, wouldn't have done that, but, um, I asked him one day, um, about the formulas that we were using to figure out certain things and, uh, you know, back when I was in that grade, I I was a glober. You know, hey, everybody was a glober as far as I knew. Um, there were, In history class, there was one time where the teacher brought it up, but made a big joke out of it, and we all laughed. Um, there's no doubt. You know, I <laughs> had, had no clue. But when I asked the teacher about these formulas, could they be fudged or, or manipulated to um, create an illusion of what their model was would it you know could they do that and he said yes and hell yes they do do it um you know and, and i you know i reminisce sometimes back on my you know younger days teenage years and whatnot and you know, i was just reminiscing about my teacher and you know it was like wow you know i i, I remember the, you know firmly what he said about this and Again, I was uh, one of his uh, favorite students. Um, matter of fact, even sometimes if I got a question wrong, he'd call me up in front of the class and point at it and say, what did I do wrong? And then, oh, you know, when I write down the right answer, then he'd give me an A+. Plus. Um, and, you know, there was times where I got two or three wrong, and he says, what, what were you, in a hurry? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get a test over with and done. Um, but, you know, 
I, I've been getting, um, you know, some questions from Globers, some questions from Concavers, but, you know, they're, they're kind of, uh, you know, subtle, subtle insults within them. Um, and one, one, the concaver was the worst one because he couldn't even be civil. Um, Jack something or another. I don't, I don't really care. But, you know, I tried to tell him, you know, hey, be civil. And, I, you know, we can discuss things. We can talk about things. But no, 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 no. Um, Michael and Jack got something very much in common. They know it all. They trust everything. And, you know, hey, they can figure it all out by themselves. Well, if they didn't have the formulas... Um, and, and I don't know what Jack's using, but, you know, Michael, if he didn't have the formulas, he wouldn't figure out shit. So, you know, he tells me he don't believe um, in the globe. He wasn't really taught the globe. Well, if you weren't, you, you mean you figured all this stuff out on your own, you know, with your foolproof logic? Uh, come on. Um, and same way, you know, with Jack, you know, he's so uh, hell bent on telling me how wrong I am and how he can use my observations to prove me wrong and I said you know what I can show my observations too that give you the impression of a concave and give you the impression of a curvature uh, check those stars out um, a couple more coming up here where I paused it a little longer on them you know it goes from uh, stars to crowns and uh, you know, <laughs> kind of morphing around here a little bit um, but there you go. But you know, um, like I say, I'm I, I'm willing to talk to people, you know. Um, but you know, mostly what what we always get is is right off the bat as an insult or talk down to you like you know you were born under a freaking rock in the middle of the goddamn desert somewhere. Um, excuse my language. Um, <laughs> You know, the only person I put my trust in is really God. Um, and, you know, when I first got started doing flat earth observations, you know, I would kind of like, uh, you know, yeah, the earth is flat. But, yeah, I really didn't accept it um, until I really started getting a lot of my observations in and seeing a lot of different things. Now, what gets me is... You know, we'll we'll see what looks like a curve, and they go, "There you go, there's a curvature." You know, your boats are getting cut off up at the bottom. Well, I'm standing on the upper deck of uh, that that short deck that's up uh, maybe another five, six, seven feet from where I usually film from, even higher. You know, when I get down right on the water with my camera, 28 inches off of it. Um, <laughs> but but they'll tell you there's the curvature. The boat's getting cut off. But then on the days that you get a good clear vision and none of the boats cut off and you're seeing well past that boat and well past the other boat and well past that boat. Oh, oh, oh well, that's refraction. Oh, it's refraction when it looks so clean and clear. Um, so again, you know, it, it's kind of funny. It really is. I mean, um, God-given senses, you know, it ain't even common sense. Uh, it's your God-given sense just to use your critical thinking powers to look around with your own eyes and you would rather trust a damn formula than you would trust your own eyes and you got to always say that the globe proves everything and everything that you got proves it's a globe and how much you can prove it um, it's crazy it's crazy well I shot this uh, this last part in monochrome, um, and I and I hit video, and I did get something. It's not really very spectacular, but I thought it's interesting. And then I used the emboss on part of it too, so um, you know you'll get you get a little bit of that too. Um, and all of the pictures were taken were uh, right off the camera, just as they were. I didn't add anything, do anything, manipulate them, change any color, brightness, saturation, nothing. Um, they are what you see. Um, and, you know, here's another thing. I, I, consider my, I consider my channel like my house. And when these people come into my house, 
and they insult me, um, you know, whether it's a direct insult or a subtle insult, it's an insult, no matter what. Now, I'm, I'll be truthful. If you were in my house, if you came in my house and you disrespected me like you do, I would have to throw you out on your head and don't think for a minute. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't try. And, and if you were a big dude, well, believe me, uh, uh, you would leave. <laughs> I just put it that way. You, you would leave or you would leave leaking water. Okay. Yeah. You'd, you'd be leaking water. You'd be leaking all that spinning water on that ball, that spinning globe. But you know, I, I'm just giving you it as it is. So in my house, you should give me some respect. And if not, um, you don't need to come to my channel because I didn't ask you to come to my channel. I didn't ask you for your opinion. I just provide observations for those that are interested. And I don't tell them to believe me or trust me. I, You know, but some people are less fortunate and they can't go out and um, do their own pictures or observations. Um but again, I want to leave on a good note. Trust the science. <laughs> It'll tell you everything about this world we live in. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Y'all have a good night. Good day. Appreciate y'all listening. Trust the science.